Boom. So most of you guys know this already. I am in the military. Now, contrary to popular belief, um, a lot of people think I'm not in the military because of the YouTube stuff I do. You guys think, oh, wow, James is not in the military. Why would military people do social media stuff? Why would military people stream or do YouTube or whatever? There are like six, seven, like there's probably like a few hundred people in the military that have massive social media followings, right? Massive, huge. Like they make mine look puny. You know what I mean? It's a thing that happens. Uh, I am trying to do a little strategy to get to you guys. I told you guys I want to be in Germany. You guys want me in Germany. So I'm like, why not? The strat is simple. What we have here, right? We have Korea. You can volunteer to go to Korea if you want to. I volunteer to go to Korea. I will always volunteer to go to Korea because not only is it a lit country, but it's a gateway to getting to the other countries that I want to get to. How it works in the military is if I volunteer for Korea, I can go to Germany. Not guaranteed. I'll explain it in more detail. For all my military people watching this too, let me explain how it works. So I get an assignment to Korea because I volunteer to go to Korea. There's always openings, right? I go to Korea on my little tour. I, you know, I work and stuff. And then there are two listings that drop. There is an overseas listing that drops. That means an overseas list of available bases that are currently open when that list drops. And then there is a stateside listing of bases that drop, you know, it's like, oh, these are the available bases for you specifically. So there's a chance, a higher chance that Germany will pop up on my list of availability and I can say, oh, here we go. Boom. Click. I can go to Germany now. I can go to Germany. If a listing for Germany pops up, meaning that base says, oh, we want a couple people. Boom. Then I can put in for it. And the chances of me getting that base are high, extremely high because I volunteered to go to Korea. That's how it works. So um, the strategy is to go to Korea. Hopefully there's an opening for me to go to Germany and then I get Germany. But the likelihood of that happening, especially since everybody in my career field knows that I do German content and stuff like that. Now they're like, oh, this guy has a YouTube channel and he does like he's probably just going to be in Germany because he has a YouTube following, which is absolutely correct. Yes, that is right. That is correct. Nodding my head up and down. Yes, you're right. Um, I'm probably not going to get it, uh, but the chances of me going out there are also still high because I'm the, one of the only people that, well, not one of the only people, one of the few people that volunteer to go to Korea. A lot of people like to stay stateside or wherever they are because, you know, they're comfortable there. Like they've been there for a long time. A lot of people stay put. They're like, okay, cool. Boom, 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 boom. But for me, I'm like, I want to explore. I want to see, I want to do, you know? So when I do that, then, um, I have a high chance of getting Germany as an assignment. So you guys might think that all of these moves I'm making are weird. A lot of you guys are asking, why the hell hasn't James been in Germany already? You've made hundreds of thousands of videos, not hundreds of thousands, but hundreds, pause, and thousands of videos about, you know, speaking the language, immersing yourself in the culture. You've done German eating food vlogs, right? Why in the heck have we not seen you in Germany yet? I'm trying to get there, but I'm also trying to stay there for several years, guys. I can't stay there for several years now because I'm in the military and I plan on finishing out my, my, uh, my full 20 years. I'm almost at the 10 year mark in the military now, but, uh, and so I, I think I need 20 years to retire and whatnot. I joined when I was 17. So, uh, I personally want to, you know, do this very smart, right? I'm trying to do this in a smart way, as smart as humanly possible. Go to Korea. Hopefully they have a listing available where Germany is on that listing, where they need somebody. I put in for Germany. I fly out to Germany. And then I can see you guys for a long time. Years, 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 years. I can see you guys. I can go out and like meet you guys, make videos with you guys, make videos with other creators. I'll take, you know, some vacation time, some leave is what we call it. Um, you know, collaborate with Julian Bam, collaborate with Kenosi. I have those in the works. That is still happening. Just because you haven't seen me in any meme compilation or people haven't mentioned me as much doesn't mean I'm not working behind the scenes. I am working. I am planning. Everything right now is calculated. Um, Another thing I would like to address, a lot of people like to say too, why don't I talk about the military as much in my videos? Guys, 
I've said this in my stream, but a lot of people don't watch my streams. It's kind of, you know, it's up in the air. You have to be careful what you put out on the internet, you know, especially when you're in uniform. I'm not representing the military because I'm in my civilian clothes. I'm in my regular people clothes right now. But when I have my uniform on, you represent an entire military. So everything that I say is it, it pretty much is a poster child for the whole military, you know, whether I accept that or not. So I can say what I want to like this, but I can't say what I want to when I'm in my uniform, because if I say the wrong thing and make the military look bad, then I can get in trouble. So you don't see me in my uniform saying or making a whole lot of videos. Are there videos of me in my uniform making videos? Absolutely, yes, there are. But do I say anything that makes the military look bad? Absolutely not, and that's very calculated. That's that's a big reason why um, you know I I do what I do. It's a very, it's a smart thing to do. Um, I can still enjoy myself. I can still have you guys enjoy what I do without getting in trouble. So. Um, Banji, thank you, by the way, for the sub, the tier one resub. I really appreciate that. 18 months, man, 18 months. You know very soon that'll be 24 months that you would have been subscribed to the Bray gang, James Bray gang. That's insane, insane. So um, everybody that has been patient, all of you that are watching live right now and all of you guys that are seeing this on YouTube, have faith, I will be over in Germany eventually. I will. It just takes time and some patience. I will keep putting in for Korea <laughs> until I get Germany. I'll try to pull some strings. I don't have any strings I can pull, but I can try. <laughs> I can be like, hey, if you need anybody, pick me. Um, And yeah, because when I do get out there, I don't think you understand. All the little videos I've been making on the side are prepping for me to be out there in Germany. I want to make entertaining videos like Connor Sullivan. Connor Sullivan at his peak, entertaining videos. Every time he films a vlog, I'm sitting there, my mouth is watering because his videos are so hilarious, tantalizing. I love them, right? Uh, every time I see Nals videos, I get super hyped, hyped. Um, our story to tell. Even Passport 2. Like, very entertaining videos. I want to take all those elements and make them into my own when I get out to, into Germany and I do vlogs a lot, you know? I want to make them really like, you know, awesome and funny and whatever because I know my experience is going to be very different. I've literally been building a hype for two and a half years for Germany, right? I've been building a hype. I'm like, oh, I'm going to be out there. I'm going to, I'm going to, meet people i'm gonna do cool shit i'm gonna see every nook and cranny and crevice of germany i want to see the good i want to see the horrible i want to see the amazing right and i'm gonna do that but in order to do that i need to take the appropriate steps and that's what i'm doing right now currently so if you guys did not know that is the strategy this is how i'm going to land and live in germany without having to do the dual citizenship thing without having to find a job in germany without having to um get a visa or whatever right simple i can get stationed there for three years three years that's a lot of time and then if i like it maybe i could you know apply back in the future and come back if i don't like it hey Lit three years, but not for me. I can move somewhere else. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys are on board with the strategy and if you guys understand why it's taken me so long to actually get out there in Germany. I can obviously visit and travel to Germany on my vacation time, but I can only leave for Germany or any other place for up to one month, right? And that means I have to have one month of vacation days saved up to go out there takes approximately a year to save up 30 days. So if I take 30 days this year, I have to wait till the end of next year to take 30 more days. And that's assuming that I only have 30 days saved up. I have like 60 or 70 days right now. So a lot's going on. I hope I broke that down clear and clear as a bell for you guys. Um, that's pretty much it. So, man. That is all I got to say. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and I will talk to you guys about more stuff soon.